Okay, I think we're live. Uh, hey, good evening. Welcome to Emergency Hedge. This is the channel where Jessica teaches me how to play Netrunner. And Dave teaches me how to play Arkham Horror. Hello, everyone. Hi. How has your week I been, Jessica? Hope... Yeah, it's been pretty good. I've been very excited about um, new cards. And I finally got around to actually... I went out and played Monday night. Mm -hmm. Um, and it looks like Jatingo's a like perfectly cromulent win condition. That's great. I won with it the very first time out. Um, and last night I, last night I started playing on Jaina and I had not played on Jaina for about three weeks and yeah, I ended up playing like about 20 games in a row, which Felt like old times. <laughs> I've not been doing that for a little bit. Nice. And so I've had to be a little bit strict with myself today because I was like, I think if I start playing Netrunner today, if I just have one game of Netrunner <laughs> this afternoon, the same thing will happen that happened last night, which was that I had about 10 just one more games in a row. <laughs> <laughs> It was lots of fun, but I went to bed pretty late. I bet. I bet. I haven't had a chance to play at all, so these these are going to be my first games with the new set, which is, is quite exciting. I'm excited. Um, You've put together some decks, though, haven't you, Dave? Uh, I have, yeah. Um, let's have a look at them. Do that. And... Uh, hey, look, it's the deck that we're not going to look at right now. Oh, and I haven't done that thing where I share my screen with you. I was a, I was just typing in the chat to you that you should probably do that. I will try and do that, yes. and hopefully it won't completely balk all of our streaming setup. Um, cool. Let's see how we get on. Um, While you're doing that, I could have a quick check that yeah, uh, we are in fact streaming and doing all of that stuff. We are streaming. Let's see if we're making noise. Uh... Um, I guess we should be talking so that there are some noises on the stream. If there are, so if, if there's a little bit of a lag, there were noises on the stream when I <laughs> went on there, rather than the absolute silence that we were just saying. Cool. Okay. Um, right. So this isn't the deck that we're going to look at first. This is the deck we're going to look at first. Yeah. Uh, have a got up here? No, I haven't. I want to have a look at my settings. Um, yeah, so I, this is entirely theory crafted, um, but I built uh, a tear deck. I've also had a tinker with uh, an epiphany deck, but I think we probably won't get a chance to look at that today. Um, I think the best thing about this deck is probably the name. I don't know whether I was other going people to comment also on the thought name. of it, but um, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, and if the rest of it is bad, I don't really care. Uh, so <laughs> my my thinking with this um it's it's not unrelated to the corp that we played last week actually which is using one of the borealis um variable advancement requirement agendas um and yeah trying to score blood on the waters quickly because the runner doesn't have very many um cards in their hand so the deck basically is a couple of cloud eaters, some stuff that um, buttresses the cloud eaters and then stuff that takes cards out of the runner's hand and some other bits and pieces. So the agenda suite, three blood in the water, obviously a couple of Fuji, um, a couple of Regenesis, which we will try and use to add the Sisyphus protocols to the um, score area rather than scoring them. So two Regenesis, two Sisyphus. And then two viral weaponization, which, as far as I understand it, empties the runner's hand. Yeah. Yeah. And doesn't see a lot of play. So, like, I'm kind of excited to... I think I've literally never played with yeah. that agenda. So, I'm excited about that. Let's try it out. As it was, yeah. we've got um, three Charlotte Casadors. Um, we chatted a lot about her last week. Um, I'm really excited to play her. Two Spin Doctors. Uh, two Urticas. Um 
And then uh, operation wise, we've got uh, two bring them homes, which again takes cards out of the runner's hand. Uh, three hand save reviews, three hedge funds, both for economy. A couple of mitosis, um, which I think will be fun, particularly in Latea, because it will be installing three cards, two of which will be in, be advanced, if I understand the um, the interaction correctly. Uh, one copy of simulation resets, um, partly because I couldn't afford the third spin doctor, partly because I think it will tend to be useful for card draw and, and recursion. Two trick of lights, because yeah. I imagine we will end up with um, Urtica's and or other things that have quite a lot of counters on them and the runners leaving alone, at which point there can be batteries for advancing. Um, yeah, the Lacosta grids themselves often end up with a load of Yes, of course, if they don't have anything to to, um, to advance. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we've got two Daniela's, uh, again, taking cards out of hand and some amount of protection for um, agendas. Uh, one ganked because Cloud Eater. Um, uh -huh. Two Lacostas, which again will do, uh, do advancing. Two Vovos, which will help hopefully with the incredible cost of resing all of our ice. Um, and then uh, the Ice Suites. One Boso mostly because I wanted to see what it's like and it didn't look terrible in this deck. Um, but I could believe it's uh, it would be a card that gets cut. At one data loop, because mm -hmm. uh, it's got an on-encounter effect that takes cards out of the grip. Three Tattoo Bowler, because it's really awesome uh, cheap ice and also economy. Um, a teeny net damage. Thimble Rig, because I think the um, layout of the ice is going to matter quite a lot. And having yeah. uh, an, a card that allows you to edit it on the fly um, is really important. I think with Sisyphus particularly, um, you really want to make sure that you only have a code gate or sentry. You, you want to have barriers on the outside as much as possible with um, with Sisyphus, right? Otherwise, the runner can... Yeah. If you've got a less than unpleasant code gate or sentry on the, as the outermost most ice somewhere, the runner can just run into it and um, the Sisyphus effect is less um, meaningful. Yeah, you definitely want to keep these thimble rigs not on the outside ice ever, if you can. Uh, like, they almost become kind of uh, a liability once you've got the Sisyphus protocol up. Right? Because they're code gates. Potent I mean, potent like... potentially, but they... I mean, they're, they're a liability if they're on the outside for a turn, but then you can just yeah. stick them in, on like, further in. Yeah, um, it's it's very easy to do that. Yeah. Absolutely right. I think the tattoo bowlers, I'm, I'm guessing, will be quite good for that as well because they can be on the outermost piece of ice, and then you can swap them with something, and you can put them again on the outermost. So they, even if you play them yeah. early, that you can you can still, I think, to some extent, work work them outwards as you build up the ice on the server. Again, I mean, this is all theory crafted stuff, so we'll see how how or if any of it works. Um, Vampire and Asa. Um, it's just generally a strong effect, I think. Um, Loki, uh, I think, particularly for Atea, means that you can have an effective Cloud Atlas on both of the remotes or on the remote and a central. Um, three in enemy, because yeah. particularly on res, it's uh, a good chunk of net damage. And then the Cloud Eaters. And this is currently a 54 card deck because I literally have just pulled it together and I think it makes sense to play it uh, at a larger deck size and see what works and what doesn't before it gets cut down smaller. Yeah, I think that economy might turn out to be an issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, quite possibly. And I already have ideas about, like, you. can I tell you the change that I would make if I was making one right now? Yes, I think... Uh, I think we should make some changes. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I agree. I think... The one card that I would like to have fitted in here and I don't is Mindscaping. Mindscaping would be good. Mm. Mindscaping does a lot. Um, 
I'm really unconvinced by Bring Them Home. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I'm just really unconvinced by it as as an operation because it's a terminal operation. It needs to be a terminal operation, otherwise yeah. it would be broken. But yeah. um, I feel like the fact it is a terminal operation, you could probably allow it to be a bit beefier than this and it would be fine. Mm. Like mm. if the if the threat subclause said uh, two, um, two cards rather than one, yeah. uh, I think it would be like pretty decent. Taking the, the runner down to one card does kind of mean they're going to have to spend their next turn like drawing up to do stuff mm. but i think that taking three cards out of hand i don't know well, i'd like to see how it plays i can see what i can see what you're going for yeah and there's like definitely the opportunity for the turn where you've got the fuji in the right kind of remote behind stuff that you know makes it lethal and the runner's not on game point and they have just stolen like what does that turn look like you've got it in hand i guess and the runner has stolen or trashed something and so you install the fuji presumably into a server which has um the cost of grid in it and then you bring them home and that's not terrible it's a bit terrible <laughs> it's a bit too many things to want to be happening at the same time because one of them is that the runner's not on game point and the threat three clause means that like they kind of one of you has to be and half the time that will be them yep anyway i, mean, I, threat, I mean threat like, three is not game point is it it's it threat it's not four is game point it's not threat, threat four is game point but like, often if you're at threat of three, you're also at threat of four. If you see what I mean. Yes. Yes, indeed. Um, yeah, I think that's valid. We'll see. Um, I, well, you see, know, I, straight up, I have not thought through all of the play patterns of this, and I expect that I, you know, maybe by the end of this evening, I have a clearer idea. I'm terrible as well for like taking a fun cool interesting card and being like hmm it's not like super value though is it and like <laughs> it's it's fine like if we want to play we want to play with cool fun interesting cards so let's see that mm. but i know I, I think it's a good point let's I, I think let's let's play at least one game with this and then see mm, whether 100%. we want to do edits to it what time it is um and what else we want to do but it's intentionally a slightly bloated deck with the intention in and you know, my deck building, particularly in this game, less so in Arkham, but is still very much like I see lots of things that are cool and I try and jam them all into one deck. And then after a lot of play, I work out that I can only fit one of them in and what the component parts of that actual one are. What are you going to say? I am actually going to say that there's one change you should definitely make. Go on. Mitosis literally doesn't work in this deck unless you draw it on turn one. Because you have to create a new remote server oh, each time. Oh yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Um, so yeah, yeah, like turn one, it will work. Every other turn, it's a dead draw. Yeah. Uh, so okay, I'm getting rid of mitosis, and I'm going to put into um, mindscapings instead. Cool. Because my did I explain this when I was saying that? My thinking is that Cloud Eater almost all the time the runner's going to take cat tags. Yeah. If if they're if they're face checking it, um well, when they first encounter it, they have to do one of those three things. Sometimes they'll trash one of their cards that they don't need. But and some yeah. I would be very surprised if playing against Jinteki they would decide to take the net damage, but they might do. Um but I think most of the time they'll be taking tags and if they're face checking it, I think they might end up with four tags and at that stage mindscaping starts to look a bit a little bit spicy. Um, as opposed to yeah. slightly underwhelming, which is, is kind of where it sits in my head at the moment. I found it to be a, a good value card in a lot of Jinteki decks where you just want to get a bit of draw and a yeah. bit of money and control the top of the deck. Like, that's it's a nice place for a card to be. Yeah, I, I'm... Yeah. I'm 
happy with the conclusion that I'm probably undervaluing it. Um, but okay. anyway, I think I think um, if it goes anywhere. A deck where the runner's likely to be taking in incidental tags and three net damage might kill them, or set up a really cool blood in the water play is is a good place for it to be. Yeah. Um, right. Let's um, let's set up the deck. Um, that's weird. You're not logged in. No. Uh, can I do this without uh, doxing yourself? Doxing myself. Let's see. Hey, that's more like it. Uh, cool. You are with the attire. Oh. Um, we are the first alphabetical uh, deck. Uh, ID. Hey. One of the but it's one of the main reasons to play a tower. It's slightly <laughs> easier. Yeah. I'm still slightly overwhelmed by all, still all of the um the lists of possible IDs. Like I definitely that's too many for my brain and eyes to parse easily. So I scan up and down lamely for a little while, uh trying to yeah. find the right one. It's nice not to have done that. Uh okay. I'm excited for this. I've only played um, Epiphany Analytica so far mm -hmm. uh, with the new cards, and it breaks my brain a bit. I'm sure that it feels a little bit like it did running a like complex Shaper Arasana deck, mm -hmm. where there's like the lines feel really complicated, and there's definitely been times when I could probably have like scored out uh, stuff. Remembering that you even have the Epiphany tokens is quite difficult. Mm. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I, I showed when I was going through my list of decks, that's the other ID that I have done a bit of um, of building for. Yeah. I'm, in, I'm really interested to see um, how it shakes out, um, but I can, I yeah. can imagine that being the case. Um, I was thinking this week when we were prepping, like it's... It is a bit like we've just had four um, Corp IDs in this release. Like Epiphany didn't really get very much of an outing. So it's, and likewise, a tear, like both of them, I feel are slightly unknown quantities. Um, yeah. And then we, did, we had two actually new ones. Uh, hi, Davs123. Uh, let's see what we got. We've got kit. Okay. Um, I think we don't want this hand. I agree. Oh, we do kind of want that hand, there, don't we? That that definitely looks That's more interesting. Some... Yeah, yeah. I'll take it's it. Got some cards in it. That hand. Yeah. Let me just uh, get our heads in the right place. Where we want. That's where we want to be. Um, okay, two Charlottes. <laughs> I don't more, know if we wanted all three of them. standard one. issue. One viral weaponization. I'm going to say hedge. Um, one Charlotte. One viral, and then. Uh, ice the viral. Sure. So we kind of don't care if they trash one of the Charlottes because we have two more in hand. So. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that yeah. card terrifies me. So, welcome to the matter. <laughs> um, 
I am not going to be really negative about any cards. Mm -hmm. However, it it's a very strong card. There's no doubt about it. It's a really, really strong card. Like this yeah. is such a strong opening. Like we'll see what they steal with this. Um, No respect for Urtica Cipher. Okay. Yeah, that like I <laughs> I'm gonna suggest that we resonant enemy. And then put not put an enemy on R and D. Yeah. Um, and then start advancing our viral weaponization. Yes. Yeah. Draw first. And maybe... Yeah, draw first. Cool. That's good. Yeah, let's put that on R&D. I'm surprised they let us have that. That's close to the top of R&D. Yeah, I wonder what else there was. Um... um and then do we want advance, to advance the viral? Yeah, yeah. advance the viral. Um, let's hope we have just enough to uh, res both ice, but it looks like we don't need to. That's cool. Yeah. Do we want to go? Yeah, I think we're all right to go down to five, aren't we? Yes. To res this. And it, it's going to trash every card in their hand, which I really like. It's going to trash yeah. five cards, Yeah. which yeah. feels pretty good. Let's do that. Uh, ah, when we, we end, end the at the end of the turn, yeah. So uh, let's see what we got. Overclock, the uh, Wolfie new Wolfie Breaker, Mad Dash, Burner and Anakin. I'm really happy that we got those cards. Yeah, especially that Breaker. Yeah. Um. Okay, we've got an Ertica, Spin Doctor, I... Charlotte. I think we need money most at the moment. Mm. Um. um do we want to spin Doctor in the remote we've already got, Charlotte in the other, res the spin What's Doctor? What's the ice on the remote we've already got? Um, Botto, uh, which we can't do anything with. Okay. Uh... Maybe Charlotte in the... No, we want Charlotte behind an ice that we can res, don't we? Yeah, I think same. I'd so say I agree, Spin Doctor. Spin Doctor and Server 2. And then Charlotte. Charlotte in the other one, yeah. Yeah. And then we'll an enemy to protect her and advance her once. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's res her. Oh, yes, we certainly do. Okay, that's nice. Um, should we start with the Spin Doctor? Yeah. Um, the I issue with the Spin Doctor is that we're not, like, super excited to get either of those cards back. Um, the Hedge Fund's nice, but we don't... I think our whatever, what's her name, Dave? What's Charlotte? that lady's name? Yeah, our Charlotte's going to be all right for a couple of turns. So let's read Spin Doctor. Yeah. But we just might not, it might not feel great to pop it. Okay. Um, so we've got the okay, Cloud Eater. Okay, remind me of Boto's stop routine. We've got Cloud Eater. Um, nice. Boto is um, got threat four text, which gives it plus two strength, makes it six. Then uh, three subroutines. One is do one net, net damage. And then there's two, which are both the same. You may trash one card from HQ to end the run. Okay. Um, we either want... Mm -hmm. I think we might want 
Do we want to ice HQ? Ideally not. Although I... he is playing burner. Um, it would be good to have some more cards, wouldn't it? Sh shall we hand say the no? Yeah. What do you want to hand say? I was going to hand say the other Charlotte. We've got a spin doctor, yeah. so there's yeah. one coming back. Um, it'd be good to have some money up, then we can think about being in a place to raise the cloud eater. Yeah. Um, I'd be tempted to pop the spin doctor and get the cloud eater and the Fuji in uh in the yeah. right. Let's just let's just do that. Yeah. It's the weaker of the two remotes, but I think we can live with that. I think that we've been unlucky to um to lose it. Yeah. So let's pop spin up. Let's do it. Yeah, cool. Um one Charlotte, one hedge fund, I say. Sure. Uh, and then And then advance Charlotte. Yeah. Ah, uh, so they found the other one. The same yeah. Okay, let's see what we draw. That is such a powerful breaker. I I do think that like long term. Okay, a teeny and another cloud eater. Cool. Um, I think one of these should go on HQ. I think one of them should go on R and D, Dave. One of them should go on R and D. A teeny needs to go on R and D, although they'll still get in. Um, they'll get one they'll access their... and then we can swap it with whatever we like from the tattoo bowler. Yeah, so let's put a teeny on R&D. Uh... Uh, well, I was saying you, you really want to deny them any access at all to R&D. Because of cataloger. Okay. Uh, a teeny on R&D. Um... And then how do you want to play the rest of this? I want to put the other Cloud Eater on HQ. Okay. Um, partly just as a scare ice and partly for a late game surprise. When, um, and then I think maybe Advanced Charlotte again. Yeah, I agree. My oh, right money's in, okay. Yeah. My yeah. right in thinking that if... We have Cloudy to rest, and then we res another one that it discards the one that's already rest. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Kit's ability functions for the, ho the whole of the run, doesn't it? So Kit can break it twice if... Yes. Uh, yeah, what well, you mean if we have the Sisyphus? But we don't. Sorry, I forgot that. I forgot that we don't. That's, that's for later. Uh, but speaking of, of which, it's... though, speaking of which, and there's the other Charlotte. Okay, so I think we've got a little window here. I think we might want to just advance the stuff that's in the remotes and move on with our lives. Yeah. Okay. I think just coming from like he'll be on three credits. Okay. Okay. He has got a breaker down. But I think it's going to be hard to. Yeah, I don't feel like he's going to do it this time. So there's the orca. Okay. So there's that absolutely demon uh, combo and a way to do uh, endless cataloging. Um, yeah. So, and draw. 
my goodness, Charlotte is really good, isn't she? Um, yeah, really good. Uh, let's hit out Fiji squad. Yeah. And we'll have to... I think we... I don't know what to discard. I think one of the trick of lights, probably. Yeah. It's not doing anything for us at the moment. And if we ever did want to do something with us, it would end the game. So we don't need both of them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What did we hit with that? Um, daily cast and trickshot. Okay. Okay, more money coming up. So yeah. Uh, so we don't get Charlotte okay. this turn. That's a shame. I was getting quite used to four credits and uh, and a card. Um. So how many, how many Fujis are in this deck, Dave? Uh, I think there are three now. Uh, let's double check. Uh, no, two Fujis. Okay, so they're both out. Um... The question is, do we want to go for um, putting the Sisyphus? Uh... We could win with the Sisyphus if they, like, it's only a two-pointer. Yeah. Um... I think, though, I think let's do Urtica. Yeah, it's definitely funny, funnier to do Urtica. Urtica, let's... and if they don't run it, then we can use a Trick of Light to get the Sisyphus scored in a way that's not absolutely absurd. Yeah. And maybe Daniela. Um... Read me the text on Trick of Light. It has to be off one card, doesn't it? One install card you can advance. Move up to two advance. No, no, from one other card. Oh, no, yeah. Up to two yeah. advanced mechanics from one other card. Cool. The chosen card. Okay. Um, I... I think it's worth getting Daniela in one of these remotes. Yeah, I'd lo I'd prefer her to be on the one with the ice... Uh, the Can she agenda. move around? She can't. Okay, let's make know. a decision, because we're, we're taking yeah, a long yeah, time yeah. over this, this race. Um... I think, um, yeah, let's just get it out. Um, that in server two, uh, Daniela in server three. And then both of them. Yeah. What? Advance. What's protecting that, Atka? It's the... It's uh, the Botto. Which we're on threat for. Um, oh, here we go. Okay, so we have enough to res both of these ice. And we can trash Charlotte at any time if we want to. So... Yeah, let's do that. I think it's interesting they went for that remote because we are threatening the score in the other remote. They were threatening the win in the mm. other remote. Yeah. Okay, so what does it actually cost for an orca to break this? Four. It costs four for orca to break Cloud Eater. Whoa. That's not okay. <laughs> that is insane, isn't it? Um. That's a 10 cost piece of ice. I would like what versus a take... 10 cost icebreaker. What did they take on the um, encounter effect? They've not moved past it yet. So you can uh, continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's do that. Yeah, two tags. Okay. And we'll res the anemone. Anemone. Card we want to trash. Um... <laughs> I'm tempted to say the Sisyphus. Um, I think probably the other an enemy though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. And uh, do we res 
Uh, Daniela now? Or is there another window? There's another window, isn't there? I think we res her now, but also we need to use Charlotte first because we haven't got any money. Uh, we need to use Charlotte now. Yeah. So um, there's the Lacosta. Okay. What is um? What is Charlotte Costa as? Uh, she's zero to res. So we can put. Oh, we want her, them both in the same remote, don't we? Yeah, we do. Um. So. Um. So we've just we can't get. We can't get this hair trigger. Never mind. No, we install them both in the same yep. remote. Six, three. Uh, no, 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 Go um, and then you also go in this remote and then advance Charlotte. Should yeah, we? then advance Charlotte. Oh no, how about we advance the Ertica? See if they come for it. I mean, right now Charlotte doesn't do anything, it's the only thing. We either need to take a credit or advance Charlotte. Cool, we'll advance it. They could win off this. Um, no, they couldn't because we haven't got another three pointer. But they could steal an agenda off this. Mm -hmm. um, We've got no ice in HQ. Otherwise, I'd say let's pop Charlotte. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And rest Hattie Bola. Okay, that's if, positive. If that's what they want to do. Yeah. Um, I mean, Augur's an, yeah, Augur's an absolute beast, but actually, um, it's still two against uh, yeah. a single res. Uh, and then we res and pop the Charlotte, yeah. and they haven't got... It's going to be very expensive for them to trash it. Like, this is still the right move for them. They don't want us yeah. to have this money, but... And they haven't trashed either. Yeah. Um, Which is good. They've almost certainly not given us economy on the top of the deck, I can tell you that. Oh, this is good. This Let's is really good. This. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Unfortunately, they've also not given us a blood in the water off the top of the deck. So, like, yeah. it's kind of hard to exploit it. We're 
reasonably close to decking them out. <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice to have a, a spin doctor shuffle now, wouldn't it? Okay, what have we got? Um... Yeah. And they've not trashed it, which is actually really important because... The Earth's um... Yeah. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Hang on. Did they, why did they not steal the Sisyphus? Because they clicked the cataloger button. And I think that they are... Okay, I think we need to draw. Yeah. Like, they, they did cataloger, and you need to, like... Okay. There's Regenesis, that's the thing. Are they planning to sweep HQ? They were with their burner, but then they got it knocked out of hand. Ah, yeah. Okay, so that was their plan. What's on HQ? On HQ is another Cloud Eater. Uh, uh, yeah, and I said we can't res and wouldn't, actually. Yeah, yeah. Because of various reasons, even if we had the money. Um, um, I think we put that down as a deterrent. Do you want to just get the Regenesis in... Server three. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. No. Uh, no. No, because they are going to just they are going to come into that server, but like they currently can't very effectively steal the agenda. Okay, there we go. They got a diesel. Mm -hmm. Um. We're checking we weren't setting up a Regenesis play there. I guess so. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, like they're playing pretty well. Okay, so... Uh, t -t 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 -t. There's no triggers we need to hit now, is there? No, no. I don't think we want to use that Lacoste grid. No? You don't want to... Spend all of our money on it? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, Jessica, it's bringing them home. Yeah, it is. <laughs> We uh, need money. We need, like... Yeah, yeah. I, I think we're just drawing for economy, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, t take two credits. Okay. Um, I am going to ditch the Loki. Yeah, sure. And Can I request that we... Yeah, yeah, we can't have two of those, eh? And... Yeah. Uh, he's not trashing it, so... Yeah, yeah. And this will at least mean that he does run uh, uh, archives again. <laughs> like, check that we've not done that. Okay. Um... Uh, no, we won't res Cloud Eater, that's fine. Okay. Take the Sisyphus. Okay, now uh, we, we definitely um, want to res the tattoo bowler, I think. Yeah, we res the tattoo bowler, but probably nothing else. Cool. Yeah, we'll put the vampire and on there. Uh, oh, okay. There we go. Um, GD. I'm trying to work out if there was a point where we misplayed that. Mm. To find out what they did because I, I think there were two Sisyphus and a Regenesis that they saw in that catalogue of play and fed to us. Yeah, we did very nearly get them out, didn't we? I wasn't really looking at their um, their stack. 
yeah, we did very nearly deck them out. Um, yeah, they fed us to Sisyphus and Eugenesis. I'm trying to work out why, because I think it was their last. Maybe it was their yeah. last click when they I did left that. Both on Otherwise, top. they. I figured I had the clicks to run back if the remote was an agenda and I could win, or you had to draw them with no way to score them. Yep, that makes sense. Yeah, and that is, that is pretty much what happened. Um, like, it didn't change very much. I don't know what the fourth card was. I think it was Zampa and Essa. Like, we were about to draw four cards that we didn't want to draw anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. I am not a big fan of this shaper rig that mm -hmm. exists now, which is... 18 credits worth of two programs that can break everything for really, really cheaply. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, fearsome. It's really fearsome. It gets set up really fast, and it just feels like, it rapidly feels like none of your ice matters anymore. Mm -hmm. And it's quite hard to, like, out Econ Shaper. Yes, yeah. Is there a counterplay here? Let's have a look. So we had, I mean, we, again, to be fair, like if they had run through another an enemy, they would be really close to not having any cards at all. Like, yeah, another an enemy. Well, I don't know. What else do we have that? Um, does net damage on command not very much there were a couple there were a couple of points as well where like they did end on one card or whatever yeah. um actually no i don't think they ever ended on one card we sometimes put them down to one card but they did the correct thing of just like spending their next turn drawing up yeah yeah and i think that's part of the that's maybe a little bit of a problem that we generally can't exploit their low hand size because they We'll just draw back up to hand size. There's never, almost never a turn when you can't do that. Uh, are you saying that the deck idea is fatally flawed? No, not really. I'm saying that you need more ideas for how to do net damage on your turn rather than no one. We've got ideas how to do net damage on our turn. Mm -hmm. The problem is that like the big net damage stuff that we did was on our turn, and then our turn ended. And I mean, we never had a blood in war blood in the water in hand, and that's supposed to be the core of the deck. So we don't yeah. really know if the deck works yet. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. That's very true. Because I think the thing with blood in the water is you do kind of have to hold it in hand or leave it in a remote, um, which perhaps. Actually, perhaps this deck's quite good at doing that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, you could, in the theory, you could shove a Blood in the Water in a remote with a Lacosta grid and just wait. And, like, maybe you end up scoring it out as a 4-2, mm -hmm. or maybe you get lucky and they are, like, on three cards or whatever, and it's a blank 3-2. Yeah. Like a blank 3 2 is kind of fine. Like people play Beal all the time. Yes. People play Atlas without a counter all the time. Yes, yes, yes. Um, um, should we rack up another game with it? See what happens? Yeah, sure. Um, uh, I, do you know what we lacked was money? Yes. If we'd yeah, had a, yeah. out eight more credits, we'd have been fine. Um, do you want to take out, bring them home, and put in. Uh, NGO front because I think it goes quite well in this deck when the click is often free and the cost grid might make it uh, free to charge as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. We the, the inst we get free installs, don't we? We weren't using as many yeah. of them as we would have liked to. Um, yeah, that sounds good. Uh, let's have a look. So. There. 
Yeah, and it works well with um, La Costa as well, doesn't it? It works really well with La Costa. Yeah. It works well with mitosis, but as we said, mitosis is basically illegal <laughs> in the deck. So, <laughs> like, I mean, you could just not ever make a remote and not use the ability until you draw your mitosis. That's an option. Do that if you want. I think. I think let's skip that. Do you have a sense of um, people's... Hey, it's Baram Wu. Hey, Baram Wu. How are Baram you? I can actually look in the chat and then I might find out the answer to that question. Um, oh, my chat's not updating. That's interesting. So you have to tell me the things that he's saying. Uh. Oh, he's in he's in the game with us. Sorry. I he's in the game with us. Yeah, 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 yeah. The the call is coming from inside the building. Um <laughs> I think I don't hate this. I think I don't hate it either. I think you you get an Atea trigger and you probably single at least single advance. Um Spin Doctor, Tati Bola, and then you put the NGO front at uh, behind the tattoo boater and you advance it once. Maybe? Uh, Maybe we don't want to leave R&D open again. <laughs> like, we haven't had to kid. learn our lesson about that. <laughs> um, what are you saying, Dave? What are you saying to our friend? Um... Bar was saying, uh, commenting on the deck size, and I was explaining that it's just because we don't know what the hell the deck's doing. <laughs> yeah. um, so what was, your, what was your, suggested, worry, your suggested play was Spin Doctor and NGO? Uh, tattoo into the, yeah, or some combination of yep. Spin Doctor, Tattoo, and um, NGO. Oh, so res, um, protecting the NGO, the Spin Doctor. Protecting the NGO. Protecting the NGO, okay. And then advance the NGA once. Okay, and it. then, and I think we have a click left after that. Yeah. Um, uh, which we might want to use to. Yeah, I don't know if we want to red spin doctor this time. Uh, I don't see there's any huge advantage in resing it this yeah. time. Yeah, actually, let, let's leave it there because then if we get catalogued, it's what we use to get out of getting catalogued. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Did they keep? Uh, let's have a look. Yes. Okay. I think we're all right with them burning this hand. I don't like that you really have to protect every central. Actually, you don't really have to protect archives. You have to protect like both your main centrals mm. really strongly against Shaper at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so gank to the bottom. Uh, and Cloudy to the yeah, bottom. Yeah. I mean, like they're going to get shuffled back in relatively yeah. soon. Um, uh, it would be nice to have two more cards, but it'd be nice to have two other cards, not those ones, really. Um, cool. So start the turn. Okay, that's that's good. Um, I think where's the spin doctor first? See what we get. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's what we get. That's what you get. Um, I think if they had cataloger, they would have played cataloger. Yeah. I think we maybe, I think we maybe want to hand side review out that. We can't hand side review right now. We, we could if we, we can. The NGA, but... Let's. Oh, do you, I think we should do the NGO. Yep. Okay. Do the NGO. Um. Um. Yeah, I'd be tempted to. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. Viral weaponization. Server two. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, and then do we want to get a uh, trigger this turn? Might as well. Would we not be happy of double icing the um, weaponization? I don't think that they've got what they need to okay. break it, but you can if you want. No, let's let's do that. Um, and oh, this is ugly, isn't it? I, th I think draw and advance probably, or advance and click. I might hand sigh away that Urtica. I might advance it and then hand sigh away the Urtica, and then we're threatening Cloud Eater, which I think will keep them scared off. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Nick down. There's a search for breakers going on. Okay, and uh, dirty laundry R and D. Okay, and we've cool. drawn Charlotte. That's nice. Um, yeah, let's do mine. it. Okay, well that's like it. they get over it relatively easily, but we don't know. We might get good stuff out of hand. Creative Commission, Creative Commission, Trick Shop, Dirty Laundry. What do we hit? We hit Creative Commission, Creative Commission, Trick Shop, trick shot and Dirty Laundry. It's like so a load of econ. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Oof. Okay. DJ Steve. <laughs> that's not great. <laughs> uh, the... <laughs> we really need what um, we get off the top of the deck to be ice. Mm. Talking of read, <laughs> it'll be a creative commission, won't it? Oh, that is really That's rude. Rough. Okay. Um, I like having data loop though. Draw. Yeah. I think the data loop now that Steve's out, probably the data loop on HQ. Protect R and D because we've been pushing our luck, and then get that Lacoste in yeah. one of these remotes, which is our favourite remote at the moment. Uh, we've got Tati Bell on one, and the Boto well, remote. Boto is is the better one, isn't it? Um, yeah. So R and D, and then we'll we'll hit this, and we'll get back Charlotte. We don't need to trash that spin doctor. We can. It's an upgrade. Oh yeah. Happy days. Oh. Can't burn us with no cards in hand. <laughs> that has been gross for us, though, hasn't it? I mean, we've had just like one or two cards, um, three tops since that got used. Sorry, you went you went silent for a moment. I apologise if I was talking over you. No, no, you didn't at all. I was just saying that the burner has has been um, pretty brutal on us. Um, Continues to be pretty brutal on us. Uh, okay, what are we doing? Shape is very, very strong at the moment, and like, it's an interesting. Oh yeah, of course, because of um, what's his face? Um, let them have a diesel. Don't give them a Nico. Yeah. Uh, that's the wrong way around. But never mind. Oh, um, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it's really easily done. Yeah. So it feels like um it feels like they're saying which card would you like to give them? Okay, yeah, that's game. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Uh... Oh, we can score that out of hand. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's do the thing that our deck's supposed mm -hmm. to do. Cool. I mean, obviously, we're not in great shape, but we are technically on game point. We are technically on game point. I think we're going to lose this game. Uh, but Seems likely. I mean, this, it's is, really this is the search like... for the Orca, isn't it, that we're, we're yeah, seeing right now? But they can go anywhere at the moment because everything's a code gate when they first encounter it. Hmm. So, like, they can do what they want. I think it might be a search for a cataloger more than anything else. Uh, maybe. Um, Spark, and there's the orca. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. And this is this is actually why I don't know what <laughs> what it's asking you with that um, DJ Steve prompt is it's almost always two identical things and you just yeah one of them. <laughs> it's for okay. there's a regenesis which is not what we want. I think just drawing kind of for ice this. right. Yeah, drawing for ice. Uh, that is technically ice. Yeah, I'm gonna draw again. Yeah, timber rig on HQ. Is that, yes. is that even worth something? It's like worth it. Not really. Like, I I think that the problem is that, like, there's literally no ice in the game that we could score, that we could, with infinite money, mm. I don't think we could res enough ice at this point. I, I'm going to draw again, really actually. That, all that does is give more counters to um, Levisome. Yeah. Although, Although we could it's, we, it's we, going to get want a it, counter. We, 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 no, we want it because we want to sure. swap something. Okay. We want to swap something for it. We swap it for the tattoo bowler. Mm -hmm. um, then it can sit on in a you know, server two by itself. And at least, at least yeah. it will then require. I don't know whether any of this is any use at all. Trap for. Like, how much is it actually going to cost to break? The barrier. Okay, I think it's going to cost them some money to break. Okay. It's going to be very, very funny if both of the times the <laughs> NST brought out are like um, high cost. Exactly eight cost power counter related uh, <laughs> breaker. Did we not use our spin doctor? Uh, oh no, damn! I didn't. I was just I was listening to you and clicking okay, through. Let's just, sorry, let's just keep playing. I think rather than undoing. Yeah, this is rough. What did that even cost them? I guess they got money back off from Bravado, but still. Uh, so I'll swap this now with the Tattoo Bowler. Yeah. What turn is this, Dave? Uh, we'll find out in just a minute. Turn six. Okay. Okay. Bar well, gets a daily cast back. Yeah. Charges Nuka. Sees Trick of Light. Yeah. And is happy with the information. Yeah, that is actually really useful information. Are we on zero credit? We are on zero yeah. credits. Right. I think we're going to lose slowly. Uh, I don't propose to do anything with Thimble Rig. No. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Maybe a bit more quickly than I thought. Uh, oh, God. Okay, yeah, just draw up. And then take a credit. Like, this is not good, Dave. It's, it's really bad. We're going to lose very it's slowly. really, really bad. Um, I kind of want them to find catalogue now <laughs> because it will help <laughs> us lose a bit more quickly. Uh, it would it would be nice to still have that spin doctor, wouldn't it? Uh, we can't raise Tati Bola, can we? Oh, we should have clicked twice. No. That that was the yeah. That was the root out of this. Oh, uh, okay. Here's yeah, the they're right to okay. Cool. Ah, uh, well, be interesting to see what they see, but I think they're going to get at least one of these agendas. Logically, they will. Um, creative or short gamble? It's the, basically the same at this point. Uh, creative slightly harder to play. Yeah, yeah, that's what I figure. But like, they're not. They're not ever going to be low enough on credits yeah. again. 
Okay, so the Regenesis and the Sisyphus are probably going to the uh, top of the deck. Okay. And we can't um, do the data loop. And they'll still both of them. Which is kind of fine because we couldn't score either of them anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess we could have scored the Regenesis. We're just broke. We're just really broke. Um, yeah. I'm just really annoyed that we didn't see that tattoo bowler play because we'd be on four now. If um, yeah, okay, uh, no simulation reset. I'm. I think I'd be happy to play that now. Actually, I wouldn't. No? Um, you, you I, I think we want to get credits it? this turn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. to be able to. Because we could draw like four agendas. Like at least at the one good thing we've got going for us right now is that we've got no agendas. <laughs> in okay, cool. Credit, credit, credit. Let's at hope. least next turn we could play the cards that we draw. Whereas this time we can't do anything with them. Okay. Uh, and hopefully we can swap this tattoo bowl with something. Yeah, with a bit of luck. They might just bounce off it. Um, okay, okay, there's the cataloger. Oh, God. Good chance that that's game. Yeah. Only one click, so it's unlikely to be game. Okay, yeah. Unless, unless uh, Bar's got a clever way of getting a... Uh, Additional click that we can't see. I think we've been a little bit unlucky in that we've played this, like, we're still testing this out. We're just playing around with an idea type deck twice into what I could think is probably the tier one runner deck at Cer the moment. Certainly the tier one. Um... I, uh, breaker Suite. I think it's pretty hard yeah. to argue with that. Uh, and what did they still? They they trashed. Oh, they trashed then. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. I think that's reasonable. Um, um. Now I'm pretty certain that we are yes. not going to see any. So the simulation reset. Well, we start the turn first, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, thank you. Okay. There's a cloud eater. Yeah. So that's simulation reset this whole hand. Should we draw once first and then we'll cycle five? No, because if we draw a hedge fund, I'd like to be able to play it. Draw simulation play. Draw, take a credit. Oh no, yeah, we still can't. Okay, yeah, let's draw once. Literally everything, I think. Yep. Okay, and then shuffle back economy. Economy and the spin doctor. Yeah. So Charlotte. All of our ice in the bin. But it's it's kind of useless at the moment. Like I don't There's another NGO front you can grab. Oh yeah. Gotcha. And that would be one of the best cards to grab at the moment. Um cool. Well, there's your hedge fund. So, gain a credit? Yeah, take a credit. It'd be really nice if we could get that. Oh, can we put Charlotte in with Lacosta Grid? Yeah, but he's just going to come and trash it, Dave. Like, he has 17 credits, <laughs> and that costs nothing to like get through. Uh, okay. As so beautiful as an idea, an idea as I'll it is. Fine. Now we rest tattoo bowler. How did well we don't have ice to do anything with it, Dave. So. Oh fuckity fuck. Like we threw all of our ice. Dang away. incarnation, it's all in the bin. Like I think it Yeah. <laughs> you may have a burner back. Yeah, okay. Fuck's sake. Trash Daniela, okay. 
Oh man, here's the burner. least he didn't see the hedge fund that's the only thing we could be left isn't it yeah <laughs> hmm. i was going to make a smart comment about there being a hedge fund in hand um, let's go to the bottom genesis to the top yeah. Did you not do anything with Charlotte? That was a choice. Yeah. I think because, as I say, he can just go and trash it. If we install it. enough uh okay we've got a vampir and asa um so click hedge fund draw click hedge fund, hedge fund maybe okay Far. okay i think draw hedge oh no click well we have a tattoo bowler play at least Yeah. But I just don't see how we went off this board state. Mm -hmm. Do we want to res that? Like, it's maybe not right now, like when he's got seven cards in hand. I think probably not, sadly, just because we're on. We'd only Nine two credits. credits. Yeah. We would be able to res the tattoo yeah. bailer afterwards. I think he probably wins the game off this with Cataloger. I think I think we lost the game like three or four turns ago. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to raise it. Okay, yeah, do the do the fun thing. Um, okay. If we haven't, I mean, that is a good ice to have here because it's it's on encounter effect. is is a proper drag on. Yeah, him running, um, R and D indefinitely, repeatedly. Yeah. I was talking with someone earlier and I was wondering if this set has been like a little bit balanced for Dawn almost. Mm. So I noticed that Shaper, like a Shaper card I thought was kind of odd to print was um, Muse. I don't know if you've seen that card. Uh, I have seen the cards. Yeah. Um, is that the host on one? Is that the demon? Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's another like it's a shaper tutor mm. that you fire right away. Um I think about a game I played with that earlier against someone with that earlier actually. And what they did was they had Muse and then they installed their card onto it. And then they did something to like move the move the card that was hosted off it mm. so they could asops that card okay here's the tattoo I can't play out. that we've been waiting for hooray fun times for all <laughs> i mean the smart play for buy now is to bounce off it i think yeah yeah totally like Bar knows the next four cards and has presumably denied us economy. Yeah, that's a safe bet. Even as even though he couldn't win the game. Oh cool. Um excellent. That's really good. I'm really happy about that. <laughs> Me too. Uh that's... I think it's a little bit with this deck, like you're not going to find out if you're any good at football or like learn if you're any good at football. If you start playing football 
against like the Manchester United first squad. Yeah. Like you're you're gonna learn that you lose at football a lot, but you're not gonna <laughs> So hey, what I kind of hate about this is we sort of know the top four cards aren't attendance. Yeah. Um I think draw Okay, I think I want to put Charlotte on the Lacosta and a Tatu Bola on that remote. Okay. And then... Yeah, let's do exactly that. I think that's actually a really nice idea. I was interested in your theory about this being balanced for Dawn. I mean, it's, it's yeah. a really powerful set, right? There are a lot of cards that yeah. I saw in this set that did, well, not maybe not so much, but there was a, the amount of runner recursion that we've seen absolutely blew my mind. Like, my thinking was uh, that this was a game where intentionally runners just don't have very much recursion at all. Um, yeah. And... Yeah, it's it's been off the scale. Um, so what you're thinking is that the expectation is that some of them will be busted, but when at the next rotation, we'll have a more of an even kill. Potentially, yeah. Like Muse, Muse is the card that made me think this because it's so similar to SMC. Yes, and SMC is leaving when yeah. dawn comes in yeah and i think it's like i think it's reasonable for shaper to have a card that's like smc i don't actually think it's super reasonable for shaper to have six yeah. cards yeah. that are like smc in their deck yeah yes agreed um oh hey we've got some we've got uh everyone's favorite uh console watching hi more oh no 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 sorry that was the wrong thing to do I have to undo the start of the turn, don't I? Yeah. Like we're just le like <laughs> we are just losing very, very slowly. Actually, can I just res these now and still get the trigger? Do you think you'll let me? Maybe. Okay. Uh, test cause weird prompt. Okay, let's let's just try it. Okay, res you. Uh, oh yeah. 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 Okay. First we managed to draw. No thimble rig. Thank you very much. Sharp, yes. So I think this might be bugged. Right. Andre was saying earlier that like this should work. Uh oh, so there's, I there's think an we'll just do it yeah. manually. Yeah. I... There we go. Okay, so two spin doctors. Um we don't hate having. Um Draw or oh, no, maybe install a spin doctor. And yeah, it. I think It'll... so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's the I'll game winning agenda. Credit. Yeah, I do not possibly see how we're going to score it. Yeah, me neither. Um, credit and hedge fund. Yeah, credit hedge fund. Uh, so I think the but, only way we can score this is to put an Urtica on the board, pump it up, and even so, Trick of Light is just two advancement counters, isn't it? We need two Tricks of yeah. Light. 
and for yeah two tricks of light would do it yeah four counters and one of them's in the bin right now just for what it's worth yes i wonder whether we should shuffle it back with the spin doctor oh, um well uh yeah we'll tassie yeah, Baylor. yeah yeah if he, if he wants to come in then we'll get four credits out of it oh Here's an interesting play. No. I was. Do you think he'll run the um, Fuji if we put it over the top of the Spin Doctor, which we can do now? Yeah, probably. But let's try it anyway. Yeah. So we'll go Ertica and then maybe Daniela. Or maybe just a hedge fund. Hedge fund. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's a bit of a. Um, Set two. Okay. Sorry, that's fine for me. Okay. Chugging the catalogue. Uh... Yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah, cool. Good game. Good game. To be honest, I don't even think there was a play if he didn't run it. <laughs> it was almost like an offering. Please come take this chapter. Put us out of our misery. That is a really hot deck. Like, yeah, yeah. Really this. I should pro I should probably do what I another kind of process I've discovered for when I'm feeling like I am about this deck, where it's just like well, what are you supposed to do about this? Is if you go out and play it for mm. like a dozen games or so, you'll be like, oh, that's what people do yes. to stop this. Actually, this is like borderline impossible to play if you stop this. Or you will discover it is genuinely broken and nobody mm. has a damn idea what to do with it. <laughs> uh, Bar is saying, don't ask me how I deal with SDS. Ah, uh, yeah. I think one of the counterplays to this deck is something like Retribution. Yes. But as you were saying, like, there's a lot of recursion now. And Shaper is the faction with an inbuilt recursion card. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's hard to see what to do, isn't it? The, I mean, installing Resin Zero <laughs> was really good for us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I think the bit that frustrates me, and it's a similar thing that frustrates to me mm. back with um back with boat back yeah. in the day is there just isn't a way to interact with power counters you know if amakua gets up to seven strength mm -hmm. like it hurts but you guard all of your um guard all of your remotes and you purge mm -hmm. and you hope that you've not already lost the game 
but it just feels like like you can't take the power counters off Libissimum, and if your kit, you're going to get one basically every turn. Yes. Yes, of course, because you you always break a go gate because that's the first thing that you're um, yeah you're running. So yeah, you can you can set up servers that um, drain it. Yep. That are like barrier, barrier, yeah. barrier. Yeah. So it's one, and then um, if they, it's one power counter per ice, and then you pay. Yeah, the relevant number of credits for each subroutine. Yeah, yeah, which is it's an incredibly efficient breaker because of the like one credit for two strength thing. Like that's just so, so so efficient. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then they wild. have two. I mean, Orcas it... also charging it. So at that yeah. point, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the orchid charge is either, you know, take your pick, isn't it? Do you want more cards with yeah. Nuka? Do you want to destroy, you know, do the worst R and D lock we've ever seen in our lives with Cataloger, or do you just simply want to break more um, barriers? Um, so there was a card back in the day. Let's bring it up actually, because this is worth talking about. Uh, the card back in the day was called Indexing. Um, I think you could probably bring up in JNet, or we can go to NRDB. But that, I think, was the top five cards of the deck. So in that sense, worse than Cataloger. But you did at least have to run back if you wanted to go and steal the stuff. So uh, what was it called? I just saying bye to... Indexing. Uh, indexing, yeah. Uh, let's just get this around the right way. Uh, oh, that's a good place for us to be, actually. Just move this over here. Was it five? It was five. Yeah. Um, so, like, this is this is and was a very strong card. I guess it's less strong now that you're not allowed to play with it, but, like, <laughs> obviously... It, I, I, actually, I don't know if it's seasonally play in Eternal. I think the stuff that happens in Eternal is so wild. It's, you know, people just, like, yeah. running around firing lock, rocket launch at each other the whole time <laughs> that no one's, like... <laughs> it does <laughs> That this, like, very list. OP card mm -hmm. is considered below the curve for what you can do. Um, but, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's an it's, uh, event, isn't it? Much, much stronger having, you know, is, is it two power counters that Cataloger starts off with? I think it comes in with two, and then you can use one of them if you've made a run this turn to just, like, grab that agenda off the top. Yes. So even, like, making... I feel like that's a bit mean, because it means even making, like, a really beefy R&D that like you probably can't get in here twice type thing yeah um and also you don't need to make the choice at the start of the run you run r d and then you get into r d and decide whether you're going to use cataloger yes and all of that seems really pushed yes like if yes. it was like if it was like conduit where it's like this is a click ability yeah the the court might be able to say actually no sorry border control or but it makes it feel very uninteractive. Like the only way I can see to interact with this card is Spin Doctor. That is the only interaction I can see. And that's expensive to use a Spin Doctor to stop mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. especially when you don't even actually know if they found anything. You know? Yeah. Yes, that's true. Is there any... Um, you've got your um, that weird Gentechi, um agenda allows you to to drop something nasty on the top of r and d at instant speed but that's no that's that still doesn't work on this does it because you can just no. instead you don't you don't access it right you just use you a power counter it. instead of breaching and you rearrange it stick at the bottom then you yeah use the click yeah i it it's yeah this this card I, i've said several times 
last week and when we were on Jeff's stream at the weekend, like the design of this set is sailing quite close to the wind in terms of the power of the cards. And this is one of the yeah. cards I had in my like. This is, uh, it just doesn't feel terribly fun to play against yeah. because there aren't, the strategies that you have to play against it are very, very limited yeah. and expensive. And the card itself is neither of those things. Um, there are ways to charge cards relatively easily. Like you can, you can get one of these down and have it around for the rest of the game. Mm. You're also, you're also, it's not unique for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that's wild. And it only costs two. And it does the thing twice if you want it to yeah. and more than that if you've got some support yeah um yeah i mean like the you... only sort of thing limiting on the insane power of this is the fact that when it's empty trash it yeah and so with yeah with the way that charge works you can own you have to with the way the charge works, if you can it was use empty, it once, you still could charge to... it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, but you can rigging up it if you want. Yeah, in fact, like... if anything, actually, as as with some of the stuff we see in Arkham, the when it's empty, trash it is better than having it dead on the board with no counters and no way of charging it, because then you you know you've yeah. got options to occur it. Well, well, I uh, thought this was yeah. I thought this was a strong card when I <laughs> saw it, and now I played against it. I still think that. Yeah, this is. I'm sorry to make it into like a whinge cast, but I'm a little bit like, uh, yeah, with this card, yeah. and the like rig that goes around it, where you just feel where your ice again. It feels a. I'm not going to say it feels like boat days. Boat days were like particularly horrible because mm. it was one card that did it for the whole board yes yeah and it costs no credits and it's not quite that bad but shaper recon is really strong and um bar rambu had their whole rig set up by turn six it was earlier than turn six but it was by mm -hmm. turn six mm -hmm. and had 20 credits and the game was over yeah, and there are probably there are probably corps that can score out by turn six and win the game, but I don't particularly want those to be the only ones that are viable. No, it would be I a shame. Would, it would be a shame. Yeah, I would much prefer to play in a meta where like uh corpse that turn out that score out by turn 12 are viable mm. i don't want i didn't like the last meta very much where some of the strongest corpse are the ones that scored out on turn 20 because they'd made everything like seven ice deep yeah. and like um the world's winning deck i don't think is is, is also like a toxic kind of netrunner that you don't mm. necessarily want to play i mean but, I, think it was, um, I thought it was it was significant that although that's obviously a very powerful deck it wasn't taken up by lots of people and i think part of the reason is that no. it's not a very fun play experience part of the reason is that soccer's a goddamn genius and it was his deck and you need to be very familiar with it to play it as well yeah. as he did and as effectively as he did you know? i think yeah i think i'm always fine with a deck being very 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 strong as long as like the, what makes it very 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 strong is a super high skill level mm. and like that deck is practically unbeatable if you have soccer skill level yeah um from what we saw mm -hmm. uh i mean it, it came close to be fair yep. like i think that worlds like if there'd been one more lucky access cable carnage would have won that world mm -hmm. but like it and I think it might have been like the credit differential might have been like a couple of credits at the end to win off. Um, what's that card called, Dave? The that murders you. The card that murders you. The one that you <laughs> <Arizona> advance, <laughs> you advance in a remote uh, clearing house. And then you flip clearing it house. Over clearing house. That's it. Yeah. Um, I'm forgetting loads of card names at the moment. I think it's because I've not played for a while. Has that got a robot a bit like Ed Two O Nine from uh, Robocop on it? 
do you have any idea what i'm talking about no but i'd like to check if what you're okay. saying is true okay. um here's a two and i yeah i think Poss it might possibly let's... i mean possibly the best thing about the whole of uh, robocop let's, let's have a look at um uh what's it a clearing house Yes, look, there it is. That is definitely an Ed 209-esque robot. Yeah. Uh, it's not good content for us to watch it together. But no. um, this, um, is, this is the robot that they try and make before um, Robocop. And it's uh, it doesn't go well. I thought it was the one they made after Robocop. And then Robocop is like, no, I'm the original. And they have like a conflict of that kind. But I've not seen Robocop for about... It, it might it is. might um it might come into play at some point later in the film but there's uh there's a fun scene where it um it goes rogue and uh, machine guns a, a, a corporate suit cool that yeah. sounds that sounds good <laughs> shall we play with the Aztec? yeah i think it's time i think it's time yeah um uh, that I'm going to be real with you. That last game was a little bit painful. <laughs> it, was, it was harsh, wasn't it? Um, um, so I think the version I've sent you is like a slightly older version than the one I ended up using. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if I quickly send you over... In fact, I sent you over earlier mm -hmm. my updated version. The With the images. Okay, cool. So let's import this and then we'll make... Are you able to see easily what the changes are? Yeah. I think... I... Actually, I think I need to go to the loop before we play another game. Um, so, so what I, I quickly make the changes myself, and then I can relink you to the deck. That sounds good. That sounds good. And maybe you can talk about them as you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Although people won't be able to see them, but they can listen to my beautiful voice mm -hmm. while see I'm doing moment. it. Uh, so, what changes have I made? I unmade that change for some reason. So, um. Log into my account. There we go. Bravado is better than Carpe Diem, which was in my original version of this deck. It's still got Alarm Clock. It's still got the Boomerangs. It's now got... It doesn't have a flip switch anymore. So I was cutting down cards. Uh, I cut down to one Asmund Pudlat. Hang on, that seems to have done it. That seems to be all the changes that we need to get down to 45. Did I put something else cool in there? I think I might have put a Carmen in. Yeah, I put a Carmen in because sometimes you run into the new HP ID and Revolver just doesn't cut it, unfortunately. As fun as it is. Uh, oh, and I took out this Fermenter and I put in a Liberated account because... It's non-interactive economy and also fires off. Julie, did I do anything else? I feel like I cut down to one Earthrise. Yeah, I did, but I don't know what I put in instead. So I cut down to one Earthrise. And then I can... I think I kept the revolver as like a backup way to write sentries. Cut down to one Earthrise was correct from what I found. But I'm actually going to put a flip switch back in. Because I think flip switch is really good in as. And there are more changes that I would make to this. Okay, I've, up I've updated it, Dave. And in fact, it's now even more updated than the version that I sent you. Okay, cool. Um, uh, send me a link for that and I will get it up. It should be the same link, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how these things work. It's a mystery. Let's have a look. Because I've updated the deck link and you have a link to the deck. So uh, what, what new things should be in there? Well, it's now 45 cards rather than 48, so it is correct. Yes. I've Excellent. switched things around. I took out Fermenter and I put in the Reddit account. Um, because you, it's a bit quicker to get that money. Um, and I could... And partly I think with Julie, out... you won... Uh, oh, no, you... Okay, you... I think you had it liberated in before. Um, the 
You've seen two versions of this. One of already course, had of liberated. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do apologize. I took out an Earthrise because it's like the least nice way to draw cards in this deck. I've chucked in a flip switch because it's really good. Um, the question is whether you put a revolver in there or not and go up to 46 cards. That uh, it can be really good to have one early to face check. And it is something you can go and grab with Asmund, who's like, Asmund was the original idea behind this deck. And the, that thing's happened of like, I started building the deck and iterating on it. And I've slowly realized Asmund's not actually very useful <laughs> in this deck. Oh, poor Asmund. <laughs> so poor. Is, there's is he gone? one now. There's one in there now. And awesome. all he's getting is. Actually, does he even get two things anymore? No, they have to be two different things. Yes, he gets an Amakua. So oh, yes. he can get an Amakua and a Jatingo. But like, that's a rough play because you're telegraphing that you are going exactly what you're going to do. Yeah, the turn before you start doing either of those things. So it's a really grim little play that I don't like making. I can't see but... them in the list, Jessica. Are you sure you haven't cut poor Asmund? Have I completely cut him? I can't see him in the list. Okay, I think that's correct. So we'll stick with that. <laughs> oh, I was sorry. <laughs> sorry when, uh, one of the few things, one of my many thoughts when I saw Jet Nino or uh, pronunciation to be finally determined, was that it was Asmund's turn to shine, and I was secretly quite pleased with the little guy. Um, you can put one back in. I, d I don't mind. No, it's no, like, no, no, It's no. essentially... It's do you know what? Put one back in. It's a draw card. It's not terrible if you see it. I just... I found again and again and again I wasn't playing it. It was like <laughs> the card that I was discarding or shuffling to the bottom of the deck or... Like, whatever. Yeah. Uh, it was a bit better when I had Revolver in there. Like, when it was, like, Revolver and Fermenter and stuff, Asmund kind of made sense. Yeah. And now Asmund doesn't really make sense. Um, there's increasingly an argument, I was thinking earlier today about this deck, that Jatinko doesn't actually make a lot of sense in this deck. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this deck wins perfectly reasonably doing other things. Um, but it is, it's a fun way to win. Yeah. What it doesn't have and the one change i was thinking of making is any kind of multi-access whatsoever uh we're at influence limit so our multi-access would look like docklands pass mm -hmm. and i think that would be a reasonable 46 card include yeah yeah that as a one-off now yes, because is... you've got alarm clock haven't you so docklands is really nice yeah. with that yeah, I think we might end up just doing one game of this because it you I think the decision tree's easier than the other deck that I've mm -hmm. made this week, mm -hmm. but it's still like it's value runner and you have to do weird plays to get the value. Yeah. Um How much did you say weird. for the audience while I was um off my headphones about to sort of any any points of interest in the deck that you want to highlight so i haven't really explained what the deck does yet cool the Let's deck do that now the deck has three really good cards in it masterwork's always been a great card it has masterwork in it it's an as deck what a surprise um it has julie in it and then a bunch of stuff that it has three of those yeah which come in for one credit if you're ads like they if it's the first connection you've installed this turn, that's just a credit to get Julie down. And then a yeah. bunch of other things that fire off Julie. So you're often getting like like Debbie Debbie doesn't have a huge number of um targets, mm -hmm. but she and to be honest, I might cut her at some point. She does fire off Julie. Yes. So she is just like a free yeah. click on any server once per turn. Um, yeah, so even if you don't have any um, credits on her, the, the clickability still works, which yeah. is good. Yeah. And all of these work really nicely with Paulie's Cafe, which is a one-of in the deck. And it's to be honest, it's not vital, but it's really nice if you have it because it yeah. fires off Julie. It 
the first thing you install with it every turn is much cheaper. Because you're um, indeed there's an there's an argument for putting some more expensive breakers in than we're using, because mm. like Sh Shibboleth, for example, you don't really get any discount when you install it because it's already just one credit. Yes. And so I had considered changing that to an Amina, but that's like a big difference between one and seven. Mm -hmm. And then the Chesvers allow you to do that mid-run. Um, so you're often almost all of your programs and once you've got Pauly's Cafe down, probably any program that you choose to install or any piece of hardware that you choose to install will only cost you a credit. Uh, the slight weakness of the deck is that you can't actually install all of the programs in it and not be over MU. Yeah. Because yep. you can't have both Cheslers. But, like, there's off. Depending on the board state, you might trash something for a second Chesler, or you might decide you don't need the second Chesler anymore, yep. or whatever. Yeah. Uh, I could, in theory, put a T400 memory diamond in there, but that's not a very good card, even in as. So. I probably won't. Sounds I bought fun. this deck. All this deck's trying to do in the first instance was um, knife. Just knife. Yeah. Find the knife. Use the knife. <laughs> uh, and then I started thinking about Julie and how much fun Julie looked like to play with. Uh, and yeah, like having five clicks, sometimes more per turn, every single turn, is dark wild. I think she's great. I was surprised that she didn't get uh, properly spoiled. Um, she was listed yeah. in the article about um, Brazilian artists, but um, the card wasn't there. So she, there were like two cards, I think, that and the Jinteki. Yeah, play there group maybe card. there was some mistake. Yeah, possibly, possibly. Um, good to go. That's yeah, good game. Let's go. And it this it feels like a pretty normal crim crim deck in lots of respects. You're making runs, getting value from them. Amaku is slowing the game down. It doesn't play diversion of funds because I don't care enough about diversion of funds. Yeah. Oh, this will be fun. Welcome to the stream, uh, so Poltergeist we'll... Four. Um, are you happy with this hand? Reasonably so, actually, yeah. Like, it's not ideal, but, like, there are definitely worse hands out there. We've got Draw, we've got Econ. In theory, we've got a turn one Jutingo if they don't ice up any of their centrals. So, like, I'm a little bit like, fuck it, let's go. <laughs> um, They are going to ice up some of their centrals because they're kept. Yeah, keep, unless you want to see more cards. No, no, it's I not ideal. But, like, the fact we've got Dr. Nuka in there is good. Yeah. Uh, just to tell you now, almost no matter what they do, our first two clicks are install and click Nuka. Unless they literally leave centrals completely uniced, in which case I think we go for the turn one to Tengo, because I think that would be really funny. Okay, cool, let's do it. <laughs> turn one to yeah. Tengo. Go, go, go. Just Tengo down, then three runs. Is that how it works? Yeah. yeah. Um, like you can do it the other way around as well, but this way we don't like lose it to a snare or something. Yeah. Uh, we have dusty laundry safe, but we can oh, use them on the other two. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah, trust Rashida. Yep. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and then dirty laundry Yep. And something I like about this is and then and when your turn ends, yeah, yeah. What a draw! <laughs> yeah, like it's not bad, is it? I like I didn't. It wouldn't have been amazing, except they chose not to ice any of their centrals, yeah. Yeah. and so they're like, all right, like. And what I like about this is even if Chitingo isn't how we end up winning this, um, we've now said, like, you do have to ice up yeah. your centrals. You can't just play a Taya. You have to do it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, so now we want to nuke her and click nuke her. Yeah. And nuke her coming down for free feels so good. Um. So Kirapira, Masterwork, Julie. We probably want to draw again. Because we don't necessarily want to install any of these this turn. Uh, They've got 11 credits, could... so we are in the um, the snake zone. Yeah, we'd die to snake. We died to quite a few things. We died, and we'd lose like vital pieces of our board if. Um, Do we want to put down Julie? We just take a. Yeah, we do. Uh, we because we've got a play next turn for for as I think you can get carried away being like, but I've already used my as trigger this turn, mm -hmm. and forget that it's one credit. You know? Yeah. Um okay. off world office scored? Fine. Yeah. Nuka? Yeah, Nuka. For doesn't that feel good, Dave? Oh, for no really, credits. Really good. For no for no clicks whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Uh we want to get master work down. Um, I think we might have to take the risk, you know, Dave. I think we might have to provide a... a Make them have it. Sure. Or even the remote, because I think they'll probably let us into the remote. Okay. Because well, we, we can't trash, so they'll... Yeah, okay, So, yeah. but that's why they'll let us in. Yeah. Unless it kills us, in which case, fine, we die. Uh... Oh, we could install. Did it not give us the option to install hardware? Don't think so, no. Unless I missed it. I don't think we had enough money to do it. We didn't have the money that we needed. Uh, so, yeah. That makes breach. Sense. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, breach oh, no yeah. We, we, would, we would need an extra one, yeah. Breach. Yeah. Uh, don't do anything with Costa. Um. Have we still got two clicks left? We do, still don't got, we? Incredible. I don't know what to do with them. Uh, um, the slightly frustrating thing is we don't have... Do we want to put a breaker down? Yeah, let's put Kirapira down. It's not ideal. The, what you can't do in this deck is wait around for Paulie's Cafe. Yeah too much because it's a one of in the deck and it might literally be the bottom card. What's off? Uh, and off. then take take a credit or run on R&D. Yeah, I think probably. You were going to say credit, yeah. weren't you? Um, yeah, because if we hit a snare, it's bad. Uh, oh, yeah, we could get that alarm clock down. Let's do that. Yeah. Time we probably release. Love that. Thank you very much. You were correct. You were absolutely correct that we should have done that. <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad that worked out for us. <laughs> Me too. Let's put on so the nice thing about alarm clock is that we kind of can run HQ almost with impunity. Like because we get to bypass whatever it is. If it's something horrible, we can just bypass it. Yeah. This is an interesting Atea deck, so they're like keeping one server uniced. Yeah. Should we make a run yeah, on HQ? Yeah, let's do it. Force them to... Uh, don't... I don't think so. No, we don't really have the credits for it, do we? No, not really. And then they'll just not res as well, so... And then we lose... Uh... Ever since Soccer came out with that video that was like a thing that you should do is There's not res. Adjuster. Yeah. Um so if we had Jatingo in hand, which we don't, we could do it again. Yeah. But I think we need to draw. Yeah. We want economy, don't we? There's there's the Jatingo you ordered. Okay, we can actually do it. So and I think it's funny. Yes. So yeah. I think we should. I think we should run R and D. Yeah, so it costs us two to go down. 
We can also just do it with a click. Um, and it only costs us one, doesn't it? Because it has. Yeah, and then we get a click back, and then we can spend that click to get a credit if we want. Oh, look, we've got a daily cast here. Um, yeah. Okay. Breach. Spin doctor, which we won't trash. No, because we're about to run out of money. Yeah. Run archives. Yeah. Next turn's not. We're about to like run out of pace. No, that's fine. Yeah. Take a credit. Okay, two stabs out of three. Yeah. Okay, uh, another off world office. Run HQ. Yeah. No. No. Fine. Uh, I think we don't want to bypass this. We don't necessarily. Yeah, I don't think we want to bypass it. I think what two do they get? They get. Lot. They get draw a card and a free install, if they really want to. Which they could use to get an agenda out of HQ. I uh, know it's install an ice. Yeah. Okay, then yeah, let them do it. Yeah. Um, and they'll probably install something on. Let me actually go through, interestingly. Okay, there. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what I expected them to do. Uh, do. Bacterial. Program. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, at least we didn't see that somewhere where we can get um, fed to lots of horrible things. Yeah. There is a small possibility. I don't think we're going to die to punitive. I don't think that's what this deck. I, I've not seen an Atea punitive deck. Mm -hmm. I think that that's probably in there because it's like a 5 3 that you don't mind the runner stealing sometimes. Yeah. 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 Uh, so we'll all go make a like, cup of coffee, read a book. <laughs> Check in uh, next um, week and see what's uh, what's going on. Okay, uh, that oh that's done. Um, we want to draw at least once. Yeah. Okay. It'd be lovely to play both of these, and we can't. We could play the hedge fund next turn if we go credit. I think we go credit credit daily cast, and then we play the hedge fund next turn. Yeah, I like that. Is that right? Sure. Um, yeah. Next, next maybe time it's we, one more click, and then we. Um... I'm yeah. This is our last game today because I can't think my way around what would have what was the better play there. So I think if we would go. Yeah, maybe maybe the hedge fund first because it's cast is. Um, yeah, Quite I think we wanted the burst economy in, yeah. in retrospect. What's uh, um, And there's Adrian Sice, your friend and mine. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. That's good play. Yeah, or is I don't it? No, it doesn't, alarm... doesn't stop Gentino, does it? It's successful runs. No. Yeah. Uh, but they might have an agenda in HQ. Mm -hmm. I don't think we alarm clock this time. No? No. Okay, quick cast. Nope. Uh, uh, click hedge fund. Yeah, we'll also want to draw, but almost certainly wants to click and click and uh, show gamble. We get there. Okay. Gamble, draw. Hannah, that's nice. Um, Hannah is nice. We have a double advanced uh, card in server one. two. Uh, but that that double advanced is a Lacosta. The Lacosta oh, is double advanced. So something else next to it is is uh, not advanced. I think we get Hannah down this turn and use our trigger. Which trigger? Now the uh, as trigger. 
so you only get one out of yeah, yeah, time. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so that for some reason in my head as is all hardware and not um not connections. Well, this is the secret. Like there weren't enough connections around before mm -hmm. to make this kind of weird little tribal deck work. Yeah. Um Okay, it definitely looks like somebody's got a trick of light up their sleeve. It feels a bit like it, doesn't it? Mm. Which we get them to six points. So, I mean, next turn, we definitely want to hammer this unguarded remote. Because it's literally, it gains us clicks to do so. Because we also use Julie. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Unguarded, you say? <laughs> <laughs> but we're still getting a click, don't we? We just might end up with a tag or yeah. something horrible. Which you can then use Hannah to get rid of if you really care. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what we're now doing, I think, is looking for Carmen or, or Amakua. We found our Amakura a little bit late. But like this is this is fun, right? This is a fun deck, I feel like. Absolutely, yeah. I wonder if you if you think where do you think the agenda's gone? If you think there was one in HQ when they moved Adrian across. When does he move? When your turn ends. And he hasn't been moved. Yeah. Um so that's Alarm me... clock is only the first piece of ice encountered. So they I think can move is that tributary on the on the inside? Yes. But tributary is not it doesn't have an end of the run, but we can also we've also got a boomerang in hand. So we can as this we can as this bad boy if we want to. I don't mind tributary firing, it's just that we don't have the we won't be able to bypass the second piece of ice if it's like a cloud eater or something and then we die. So you mean the uh, the outside piece of ice? We won't be able to bypass the inside piece of ice because they'll move this tributary to the front because that's ah, its text. Gotcha. So that's why I don't think we should do this. Gotcha. I think we should go and fuck with their remotes. Okay. And do some drawing and try and find the cards that win us the game. Um... Okay, yeah. I don't I don't think that we should alarm clock this time because yeah, I don't okay. think that we can reliably get into HQ okay, let's, without let's, dying. Let's hammer the server three, after yep. which we are able to work because um tributary won't um be activated anymore. So our masterwork is just we... once per turn, right? No, it's whenever. No, it's every every run. Oh my god, that's insane. Okay. Yeah. Uh, not not today, thank you. Yeah, we could we should possibly have drawn before we did this because then we could have used Masterwork if we wanted to. And Joe Front. A virus. Um, uh yeah, trash it. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want that around we've got Amaka. So now we can run HQ. No, because we, well, we, we don't no, have because we can't. Anymore. We don't have alarm clock. Yeah, we don't have alarm clock yeah. anymore. So we want to draw a couple of times. Red team is nice. It's all right. <laughs> it's like it's kind of hard to use on this board. Ah, uh, yeah, no, it's 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 it would have been nice um, three or four times ago. Yeah. Draw again. Yeah, draw again. Class uh, the score. class act's nice. I think we might just take a couple of credits. And install the class act. And hope that they've not got the win in the remote. But I don't think they do. But we could also just run this remote and kill the Costa. Like we can install Boomerang as we run and get into server two and yeah, either steal steal trash. Let's do that. And like go down to low credits when we Yeah, let's do this. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Uh, I'm really confused. 
just click either of them and then do yeah. the thing. Okay, um, cool. Fine. Um, so we'll lose one click. Yeah, to break the like. Continue to encounter ice. Oh, yes. Yeah, Continue to encounter ice. Thank you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's that every time. time. Every time. Here we go. And then. Boom. Boom. I think that's all of them. Yeah. Reach the server. Unknown first? Yeah. It's Charlotte. Hi, Charlotte. No. Um. I want to be able to install the class after this turn, and I really want to kill that Lacosta. Okay. Do you want to trash everything? I would have liked to, but you make a good point. The class act is really important, isn't it? And Lacosta's like good to get rid of. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, this yeah. turn, Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte without Lacosta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, trash Lacosta. Shuffle back boomerang. Install the class act. Oh, oh yeah, okay. I forgot we'd already used our as trigger this time. But that's okay. We've not drawn any more. <laughs> we have drawn Jatinga, though. That's cool. So we kind of just need credits and breakers now. Which is arguably, you know, the game. But, like... <laughs> I think that they will need to slow down because they are aware that their remote is. Okay, that's an interesting one. Hybrid release. Okay. And we know that's not an agenda in the remote because we know that the thing underneath it is what's her face, yeah? Charlotte. Yes. Yeah, Charlotte. Okay, I still don't think we alarm clock. We need money. This is frustrating. Um, yeah, it would have been nice to get a, some more economy in these. Uh, yeah, the economy's not bad in this deck. We've just not found the like, what are the big triggers for economy? Like, Chesver oh. would. Okay, don't know why that was there, but anyway. Okay. So you think not alarm clock? I think not alarm clock, because all that's going to happen... We can't break the second piece of ice, which could literally be Cloud Eater. Okay. They're going to move the tributary to the front. Oh. We could then... If so we be the first run this turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, draw, filter draw. We have like, yeah. Um, it feels a bit. We could install Tingo instead of uh, clicking to draw, and that gets a, that means that we don't have even more cards to discard at the end of the turn. Jatingo will it will draw us a card. Trust me, just install it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Masterwork. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, and then Pordy's Cafe's all right, but it was sort of more all right like two turns ago. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, Hannah the remote because we get a click. So five. How many cards have we got? Is it like nine we've got in hand? Yes. Okay. One of them is a redundant masterwork. 
one of them is a red team that I don't think we can use anytime soon. Um, we're going to want to get the other. The red team might be useful for our winning play. Right. It might be. It. If we only use it on the turn when we make the winning play. Yeah. Um, okay. We've um, got so we just let this fire. Yeah. yeah, we let it yeah. fire. We can't do anything about it. Did they install the ice? Oh, they've only got two cards in hand. It's a regolith. Okay, we can't trash it. Um, we definitely want to click and install this other casts. So that's two of yeah, our four clicks. That's, Nuka, well, that's I think we can deep. install for free. No, we can't because we already installed Jatingo. Ah, uh, of course we did. Um. So we do click and install casts, and then we're going to just have to like lose a load of cards, and that's fine. I think we lose Debbie. I think we lose Masterwork, we also, we and I think also, we lose Red Team. We could click and install either Nuka or Shibboleth, which is probably the best. Um, we lose Exploit. We lose Exploit. Yeah. What are we going to do with the last two clicks before we discard everything there? Um, let's install Shibboleth because Nika's free next turn. Yep. Sounds good. Um, exploit so... is never going to be useful because if, we ex if we're in a position to exploit, we've already won the game. Yeah. Uh, which one was that? It's on there. Yep. Cool. Cool. We should have kept Debbie instead of Red Team. Debbie's literally free money. I just realised. Because you put money on her when you're at this threat level. Um, we kept both. Oh, do we? Yeah. Oh, cool. Um, so her like, threat four text is... Is it place two on her at threat four? Or is, she, is it more money than that? Um... I think it is too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, looks like they're doing some interesting. They're Charlotte. the manual triggers Charlotte. didn't work in the way that they should yeah, have with yeah. Charlotte. So they're doing a manual Charlotte. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah, four credits in a card. I think if we can not lose in like the next two turns, we might win. Yeah, I'll take that. So we're going to start on four. Yeah, we install and use Nuka. Yeah. Costing one click and no credits. Mm -hmm. Ooh. It's an overall install on Charlotte. Okay, well, that's definitely signaling an agenda. But is it a bait? Like, logically, it is, right? Because we can get in there. Maybe we can't get into that server five. Yeah. Maybe we can, though, with the boomerang in hand. Tributary is really weird because, like, we'd have to... We couldn't do the... Okay. Vovo, okay. Which they're presumably going to... Was that the there? second card that they just... Okay. Adrian moves to R&D. Uh, Where's Adrian going? It's a relatively safe bet that wherever Adrian's going, if he's going somewhere, is the um, server with an agenda in. Yeah. 
Um, did you see whether the Volvo was the card that got installed this turn? Oh, no. Yeah. And then something in that server too yeah. that I just don't think is a remote. Uh, yeah. uh, like, um, I just don't think it's an agenda. Yeah. Because they've watched us go into that room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like. Okay, so daily casts. Daily casts. No. So install Nuka, hit Nuka. Yes, please. With that. So what have we got? Um, We've got a Carmen. Carmen. Which one don't we want? Probably the class apps. We're not going to be playing it again soon, are we? Yeah. Okay. What we wanted was Econ, and it's a little bit frustrating that we didn't get any. Uh, apart from kind of by events. Yeah. Um, they are below 10, which means we don't need to worry about Cloud Eater anymore. We do on R&D. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Chesva would have been nice to see. Yeah. Um, could we have a little look in the heap? Uh, yeah. Sorry, the heap, not the oh, not sorry, archives. The... Okay, there's loads of econ left in this deck. There's two more bravados, there's a dirty laundry, and there's two short gambles. Yeah. So I'm a little bit tempted to just nuke her again. I have a suggestion. What? For a play. If we, there are nine credits, if we, um, oh, with boomerang R&D, even if it's a cloud eater, we are taking four tags, right? Two on encounter, and then the one self we can't break. And then we just, then they've used all of their credits, and we run HQ and run archives, and we win. We don't have enough money to do that. I think we can do that next turn. We need money. Why do we need money? Because they'll res other ice. No, they've got nine credits. So, I mean, that assumes it that it's exactly a Cloud Eater on R&D. Well, if and it, that they don't raise any other ice. If it isn't, then... If they don't do that, then we stop. But if we start by running R&D... I think that we take credits and try and win next time. Okay. Uh... Okay. Um, we could install Debbie, actually, because that gives us an extra click next time, which yeah. would be... Oh, no, it doesn't, because we've not got a Julie installed. Um, we have, we do have a Julie in hand. So it costs us one to install. Yeah, and then take two and discard that red team. I don't think we're going to use it. Okay. And then we'll try and win next turn off six credits. I think it's... <laughs> <laughs> I just really hope that our opponent doesn't go a bit of a bluff there. Okay. <laughs> see. Uh... <sighs> oh no, they won. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you. We should have gone with with your plan. Ask what what the ice was. I'm really curious. What are they Tria. So uh, two Fond of Trias on R&D and Archives. Um, oh, so we could have definitely won. Like, that's really frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> like, we could have won lots. Like, we could have won very, very easily. Sorry, Dave. We should have, like, listened to, listened to your wisdom. We no totally mind. would have won if we'd done that. Yeah, it's just two net damage running through, right? Yeah, and we don't care about the cards. Like, so once we knew it was that, we could have just gone. So, like, we'd have had to have had. We we could have been we could have been certain if we'd gone through that one that they couldn't res a cloud eater on any other server. Yeah, we'd probably have gone for HQ next and broken it with Kurapira. 
right? Which yeah. uh, is two credits, I think. I think and, it's, yeah, it's, it's two. Yeah, and then we'd have run archives and taken two net damage and won the game. Yeah. Let's do that. I next mean, it's time. easy to say that now we know, <laughs> but it's like. No, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Like, th there's also like a case where we run archives and they res a brand and we lose the game. <laughs> <laughs> Like, there's nothing that would have killed us, but there is stuff that would have kept us out on only four credits to run with. Yeah, I, I, mean, then... I think you you would have uh, you would have given me a look when Fonadria was rezzed, and uh, <laughs> and I would have yeah. sort of felt slightly chastened. <laughs> um, but it then would have been a very good feeling if we'd uh, won the game afterwards. <laughs> we should have done the fun play. I agree. Let's try. I just I that. think that like like if that hadn't been an agenda in the remote we would have won and it didn't look like an agenda because it was like why would you put it in there when we can definitely get in mm, and do you know that mm. we can get in but it was like it was a good bluff it was a good bluff yeah yeah okay good little double bluff all right then what have we learned um, have we learned anything the cards the cards are fun some of them the cards are fun more fun to play with than against um about this deck this is the first time the economy's not felt great in this deck. Mm. And I think it might have just been like some bad luck. We also did do like a very aggressive early play. Like we didn't advance our board state with that early play. We just like got a Chatingo out really quickly. Yeah. And then the thing that we kind of hoped that they, the thing that we kind of hoped they'd do in response to that was to really slow down and really like overemphasize, like, they left their centrals really porous. They didn't respect mm. us finding the third one. Um, you know, like we had, they didn't protect against him. Mm. And I thought that they would. I guess they did a bit by like icing archives. Yeah. And I think I would have been a bit more willing to make the play that you wanted to if archives were iced. I, um, I liked Bar's baller approach to cloud eater like it is a terrifying ice to know that's out there somewhere yeah but actually once you run it once it's it's most appalling aspect which is that you you have to take at least one subroutine even if you've got your breaker suite down it is nullified yeah so if you, if you can ride out that first horrible horrible encounter with it it we would have face checked all of this stuff if we'd found Carmen mm. or Amakua early. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then they wouldn't have had as many credits. And like that is kind of a reason to have Asmund. Because if we found Asmund, we could have done the like grab Am grab Amakua and start making runs thing. And they were leaving remote servers open for us to just like run four times if we wanted to and create a like big Amakua to get in anywhere. Yeah. Um. It, but did we have fun? We did. I think I had. Fun I, had I had loads of fun. Yeah. I. I'm too tired to stream and do it, but like, and I probably should go to bed because I've, I've just had a run of of long nights this week. But I would be very happy That's just better. to to jack straight back into Jane and and play again. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's a very fun deck. Um, I'm going to try and make a Seb deck, I think. Um, are we playing Arkham next week or are we playing... I think, I think Arkham Network next week, if that works for you. Yeah, yeah, that works for me. Um, yeah, we've got... Uh, yeah. Um, I forget. Did we go to the Forbidden Peaks? Is that the scenario we've just done? We went up a hill. Does that mountain? Yeah. Although I feel like... No, we went back into the Dreamlands again after that. Ah, oh, of course, so... yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. the um the mist. I the think mist. I think we've got the city of the elder things next. Yes, we do. Because so I remember mm. you saying so and me being excited about it. Yeah, so that'll be fun. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Right, that's then. that's one of the very variable scenarios. Like the choices you've made earlier in the campaign determine the setup. So it might be very different from the one other time I played it. So that'll be fun. That will be fun. Um, cool. Cool. See I shall you... look forward to that. Yep. Yeah. Thanks, everybody, for spending your time with us. It's been lovely. And uh, we'll see you next Bye. week.